sometimes the sun is shining, it's hot, and uh, if we are outdoors, we're going to do a lovely, lovely beef steak for you. Look at those, there's four pounds of steak. We're going to barbecue them for you, and we're going to make them to the perfect burger. And not only that, I've got a lovely sauce to go on that. Watch this space. What would you need today for this wonderful barbecue? You need four pounds of beef steak, and that would be with the salt and the pepper, and that's all you need, and a little bit of olive oil. And for the sauce, you need three lovely juicy tomatoes, you really need one onions, parsley, very little um, mint, three cloves of garlic, and one chili, and that's all you need. Put a bit of olive oil for the grilling, so it doesn't stick. And with the salt, we're going to be very generous. Because beef like salt. Quite a bit. We're going to rub it very well with the salt. Oops. Lots of ground pepper. Yeah, we're going to really put a lot. Yeah, it's better to, you can use any pepper, but I found uh, ground pepper tastes better and it's nicer. Okay, so now we're going to turn the meat. We're going to do the other side. Oh, can you hear that noise? So we are going to grill it about one to two minutes on each side. Yeah, because we don't want them to be hard, we want them to be tender, a little bit medium inside. Okay, let it grill. So while this is grilling, I'm going to show you the sauce. It's the most amazing sauce. Three juicy tomatoes that goes in there. We are going to put onions. I like red onions, it it's just tastes nicer free garlic, the chili goes in there, and very small amount of um, mint and parsley. You don't need a lot. You know, I don't have to go to the gym. You know that. <laughs> you see? Muscle. Okay, we could add a little bit of salt as well. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper a bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. Ah, that is lovely. You might be wondering why am I wearing this flowery necklace and this beautiful flower on my head? But I've got a story to tell you. A couple of weeks ago, my husband surprised me for my 25th birthday. Well, not quite right, double that, okay? To a surprise holiday, and we went to Hawaii, Honolulu. It was amazing. I felt like a little girl for Christmas. Where are we going? And you know the amazing things was? No children, I'm whispering because they can hear me. We had no kids with us, it was just me and him. And, and you know, as a couple, we need to spend time with each other because sometimes we forget who we are. We're just a mother, we're a friend, and we forgot we, we just, we're a wife too. And the Bible say that the husband leave their mother and their father and cleave to their wife. And I beginning to realize I'm a wife too. We need to spend, it's so healthy to spend time with each other as husband and wife and, and to do things, to go for dinner, to go on a date and to just lie by the beach and just, you know, looking at each other. Just kidding, we did that anyway. Many marriages I know, they're on the rock because we don't cherish each other. We give our time to other things. But I would encourage you this morning, if your marriage is, is not as it should be, make some time for each other. I find for myself, when I spend time with my husband, just me and him, nobody else, we talk, we laugh, we giggle, we have fun. 
And the second thing we do is praying together. If a couple is not praying together, something is desperately wrong. And I find when we pray, we serve the same God, that's Jesus. And our marriage flourishes. You forgive. When you, your partner do something wrong to you and, and uh, you don't hold any grudges because you know there is a forgiveness. You need to, to love each other. We need to cherish each other. So it's exciting and I will encourage you, go on a date with your husband and your wife and, and surprise each other. Go to Honolulu, Hawaii and spend a week there. steak has been cooking it's been grilling for four to five minutes on each side so it's ready so we're going to take it out and leave them to rest for a good two minutes yeah so we still get the juice inside let it rest and then we're going to do the burger okay look at that that is smell delicious I've switched the grill off, still very hot anyway, just a few seconds to get that barbecue flavor. That has been resting now for a good um, three to four minutes and look at that. Oh, I need to try one. Mmm, that is good. Look at this bun. It's been grilled so beautifully. So we are going to assemble our burger. And it's not going to be an, a normal burger. It's going to be an extraordinary burger. And we are going to add the sauce. Look at that. Yeah. And voila. And you know we could do a double burger as well. Look at that. Oops! <laughs> That's for the cat. Look at that. This is amazing. Now it's time to taste and to eat. Let's see. Wait for me, got a dial up. Can't call my landline because it's all tied up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. We're going to make them to the perfect burger. That's not good knife in my hand, is it? <laughs> it's hot in here, eh? I'm cooking myself. I feel like I've been grilled. 